In this next part of our stakeout series, we will look at stakeout lists. The stakeout list allows users to select multiple things in the map for stakeout. To open a stakeout list, select the items to be staked out and tap stakeout. Or select stakeout points from the menu. Items will be added to the list in the order you select them in the map. Tap an item in the list to start stakeout. Under options, you can choose whether to remove that staked point from the list after a measurement. By default, that option is ticked on, and you can see here, after I've measured a point, that point is removed from the list, ready for me to stake the next one. I can also use the closest soft key to stake out the nearest point. The stakeout list will persist even if you close the stakeout menu or shut down Trimble Access. To reopen the list, go to stakeout points in the menu or tap and hold on the map and select stake out the number of items left in your stakeout list. For a visual indicator of what points are in your stakeout list, go to map settings and turn on stake out list points. This will display a blue flag over each of your stake out points for a visual reminder of what points are left in your stake out list. To stake out an item that's not in your stake out list, select the item and select stake out point from the tap and hold menu. Thanks for watching. I hope that was helpful and I look forward to seeing you on another video.